Welcome to Thermal Engineering Laboratory. Today we will discuss the experiment Natural Convection Test Apparatus. This is actually uh, to describe the one of the modes of heat transfer, especially called the natural convection. It is due to the uh, density difference, the temperature difference between a solid and a fluid interaction. So, uh, to describe that phenomena, we have uh, the natural convection test apparatus and it consists of a vertical cylinder which has uh, the heater arrangement inside it and also the temperature measuring uh, instruments that place over it that is called thermocouples. To get an average value of temperature, we have thermocouple mounted at seven places. Uh, similarly, to record the digital data of the heat that is in terms of electrical energy input and also to record the temperature reading, we have the control panel here. This is the heater dimmer start to set the voltage for the experimental setup. This is a display for ammeter to note down the current value. This is for voltage. This is especially for the temperature readings. By adjusting this knob by one by one, for the seven thermocouples, you can have seven set of readings. So, it is basically with electrical power input that is to be understood and before starting into the experiment you should be uh, uh, safety sign, you should be uh, wearing uh, proper shoes and, uh, because we are dealing with electrical equipment. So, it is mainly the heat is produced in terms from the electrical input. So, by setting the proper voltage, the heat energy is given to the experimental setup where this is in an environment called uh, a controlled environment which is a uh, surrounded uh, a hollow we can say a hollow space a rectangle space is given inside the uh, arrangement the vertical cylinder is placed inside it heater is present so that heater is supplied with the electrical power so normally to start the experiment initially we give some voltage we set up uh, to reach the steady state we give some time so after getting particular voltage and proper temperature raise up then we start taking reading recording the reading then to the next reading we need to give some space time to reach that steady state for the voltage then we need to take the reading uh, normally we give 10 to 15 minutes for the uh, the reading uh, in between gap we give 15 minutes to get the uh, steady state Okay, let's we get into the experiment. We already uh, from the uh, to take the reading, we already uh, started and made ready the experimental setup. We uh, see the readings. So first we look at the reading of uh, we set the dimmer start for uh, 27 uh, volts and corresponding ammeter is 0.3 amps and the temperature you can see 93 at at the point of uh, thermocouple 1 on the cylinder, this is uh, reading 2 for the second thermocouple, this is reading 3 for third thermocouple like that. For 7 thermocouples, we have 7 set of readings that you can see it in the digital thermometer, digital uh, reading, digital display. And after that, we have the tabulation like this. Uh, heater input voltage current and the thermocouple readings the T1 to T7 and the atmosphere also. Here atmosphere is atmosphere uh, temperature around the solid cylinder is taken from a uh, thermocouple call which is uh, suspended over air. So that we will take and we record the readings for particular voltage current thermocouple readings and the we calculate it based on the calculation given here. So we use the values of the temperature average and dimensions of the vertical cylinder for surface area pi dl we calculate and it is quite easiest uh, experiment where we use the natural convection equations. That equation carries like this. Mm, Q is calculated with voltage and current and temperature area we are average temperature we are taking and uh, the Q is equal to HA, uh, HA and area into that delta T it is the natural uh, Newton's law of cooling uh, phenomena that is behind the natural heat convection so this is the way and a model calculation is shown here for a particular reading this is uh, the way of doing calculation and finally the solution that will give everything in the manual 
students can follow the manual and they can work out easily it is quite to understand the uh, heat transfer concepts one of the most natural convection thank you